If you want to record your next webinar and then repurpose that content super easily with AI, I'm gonna show you how you can make that happen. The first thing that you need to consider when it comes to recording your webinar is you need a software that will facilitate this. And if it's a software that also makes it easy to repurpose your content, that's a bonus. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to facilitate your webinar on a platform called Riverside.fm. Record it with one click and then repurpose it into social media clips, a YouTube video, a podcast episode, and written marketing material like blog posts. So if that all sounds good to you, then keep on watching. So this is Riverside.fm. This is an online conversation studio for things like presentations, podcast episodes, creating content, and running webinars. So sign up for an account and log in. The first thing that you would wanna do is create a new studio for your webinars. So you would select this drop down menu, select new studio. You can name it something like webinars and select create. Then if you go to plan, schedule session, you can schedule your webinar for a certain time and date. And then you can also invite people directly by email. So you can send them a guest link if you want them to be involved in the webinar, or you can send them an audience link if you want them to watch the webinar. And on certain plans, you can even use this audience registration feature, which will provide a link for people to register for your upcoming webinar. This is going to allow you to keep track of how many people are planning to attend. When it's time to host your webinar in that same studio, your webinar studio, you would select record. So on this page, you can select any equipment that you'd like to use. You can select your microphone from the drop down menu here. I recommend a USB mic. A good one on a budget is the ATR 2100X. So once all of your equipment is connected, you would select whether you are or are not using headphones and join the studio. This is the studio where you would record your webinar. Again, you can use this link to invite anybody as a guest or an audience member, or you can invite them directly by email here as well. Now, if you wanted to live stream your webinar so that you can broadcast to places like YouTube and Facebook, then you can turn on live streaming with the live stream dropdown menu. With this brand button on the side here, you can brand what your studio looks like. So you'll see you can change the lower thirds right here. You can change the theme and the colors to match your brand colors. You can even add your logo and your audience will see all of this branding. Now with the script button at the bottom, you can add your webinar script or outline to your screen so that you can stay on track throughout the webinar. Nobody else will see this script or outline unless you allow them to. Throughout your webinar, you can do certain things like you can share your screen or on certain plans, you can share a presentation. And with the media board over here, you can play additional media like a video clip. When you're ready to start your webinar, you would just select record. At this time, the broadcast would start and the recording of your webinar will start as well. With this layout button, if you have more than one person involved in the webinar or you're sharing your screen or a presentation, you can switch up the layout throughout the recording with keyboard shortcuts or by selecting what layout you'd like. You'll also have this chat section. So you have your studio chat where you can chat with anybody involved in the webinar. So behind the scenes, and then you have your live stream chat where people can ask questions and comments and engage with you in real time. If you are live streaming to places like Facebook and YouTube, all of the comments from those platforms will be displayed right here on Riverside in that live stream chat. This makes the webinar a lot more engaging to watch. So if you want to learn some more tips about how to make your webinar engaging and successful, I will link a video above for you to watch next. When you're done the webinar, you would press stop and this will also end the recording of the webinar. Now you can select view recordings. And if you scroll down, you'll see that you can download each track separately. So audio and video files of every participant, screen shares, media files, even your transcript, you can download that separately. So yeah, that's how you record a webinar. But what about repurposing? Here are four ways that you can repurpose your webinar to expand its reach. So number one is to make it a YouTube video. So head into the editor right here and you can edit this video super easily. So take out parts by deleting text out of the text-based editor. You can use the AI tools to do things like remove filler words and silences and even enhance your audio. You can add additional media like text and image overlays to the screen. And you can even add animated captions to help with accessibility and SEO. You can also select certain parts and turn them into individual videos by selecting keep only this. Now we have a ton of videos diving into more detail on the Riverside editor and how you can use it. I will link one above for you to watch to learn more. You can export your edited video in up to 4K depending on the camera that you use to record. When it's done exporting, you can select it and download it to your computer to upload to YouTube. 
At the same time, you can also make this a video podcast episode. Select the Spotify for Podcasters button to be redirected to turn this into a video podcast episode on Spotify and an audio podcast episode on other podcast platforms. You can press this AI show notes button to generate a summary, key takeaways, chapter markers, keywords, and you can use this for your YouTube video description and tags and as your podcast show notes. These are already SEO optimized so your content can reach further. Now, why not up your game with social media content that you've already recorded? Just select this magic clips button. Select who you want to feature in the clips, how long you want them to be, what speaker you want to feature, and what you will want the clips to focus on. AI will skim your content and create social media optimized clips that you can then use to build your online presence. So you can post these to places like LinkedIn if you're trying to grow your business, or Instagram or Facebook Reels. You can use the editor to design them to fit your liking, and you can resize them for different social media platforms. Now, if you're looking to start a blog or some written content for your brand, why not repurpose your webinar into written marketing material? Here's how to do it. So you're going to copy the transcription, you can do that right here, and then head over to Google Gemini, Paste in your transcription and say, turn this into a blog post or a newsletter or an email. You could even say, create five different blog posts that redirect to this video. Now, remember when you post that blog post, link to the YouTube video and in the YouTube video description, link to the blog post. And that is how you can record and repurpose a webinar with a little help from AI. Let me know in the comments how you're planning to repurpose your webinar. And if it wasn't mentioned in this video, I may have a Riverside hack for you. If you liked this video and you learned something new, feel free to hit that thumbs up button to let me know and consider hitting subscribe and sticking around for more content just like this. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I will see you next week. Bye.